Welcome to another video. Let's try to find the last three digits of this of this root because that's all I'm going to say. I can say it's a sum because it's the square root of a sum but we're adding up the cubes of numbers starting from 1 and we're going to end at 2024. Now this question counts on you knowing how to deal with the sum of cubes because if you don't then there is no other way other than pulling out a calculator and cubing every number from 1 to 2024 but you know that a problem like this does not expect you to do that so what are you supposed to do well all we have to do is recognize that the sum of all the cubes of natural numbers to any point is the same thing as the square of the sum of those natural numbers okay let's get into the video From a previous video I did, we were just supposed to prove it. So you expect it to know it. It's just like the quadratic formula. You must know that the sum of the first n natural cubes is the same thing as the square of the sum of the first n natural numbers. So, which means that here I could say, let's just say recall that one cubed plus two cubed plus three cubed all the way hey cubed you know if I keep going this is the same thing that let's say it ends at um, plus n cubed this is the same thing as saying 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to n and you square it this you have to know to be able to answer this question. If you don't know it, then you need a calculator or a computer. Okay, so at this point, it is easy for you to know that, by the way, this is how this goes. The sum of the first n, i equals 1 to n, and this is i cubed. If you're adding all the cubes, it is the same thing as the sum of all the i's from i equals 1 to n squared. So that's the short notation for this. So if you're adding all the cubes, it is the same thing as the square of the sum of all the i's. Now let's assume the sum we're looking for is the sum, let's write it as sum of the first n cubes, okay? So we're gonna say that this sum is equal to the square root of, instead of writing all these cubes, I'm going to write it in this way. It is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 2024 20, squared. And we know that when you take the square root of the square, all you have is just a sum. So that's it. The whole crazy thing we have here is just this. So all you need to do is sit down and start adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and you do it 2024 times. But if you don't want to do that, you use the formula for the sum of an arithmetic progression where the first term is 1 and the common difference is 1 and the last term is 2024 and the number of terms is 2024. You can use a formula. Okay? But I don't want to use a formula. What I want to do is do what Gauss did when he came up with a formula, which is to just say, hey, instead of writing this this way, I might as well say that S sub n is also equal to, instead of writing from 1 to 2024, I'm going to write from 2024 to 2023 to 2022 all the way to 1. So instead of adding from small to big, I'm going to be adding from big to small, and then I'm just going to add the two equations together. So if I add these two together, I'm going to get two of the sum. Because this is finite, I can add two sums. I've seen people do some crazy stuff with infinite sums. You can't do that with this. It has, because it's finite, it actually ends. 
Okay, so I can add these two sums together. If I add this to this, what do I get? I get 2025, that's next year. So you notice that 2025 is showing up everywhere and that's what we're gonna do until we get to the last one, 2025. So every single term is 2025 and how many of these terms do I have? I have 2024 of them because I have one, two, three, four, the 2024. So I have two SN will be equal to 2025 in 2024 places. So that the sum I'm looking for is, I divide both sides by two, it's gonna be 20, 25 times 10, 12. So this is actually the value I need. I just need to multiply these two in order to get Oh, I'm looking for the last three digits. Okay, if this was a test, you don't need to use all of the last three digits. Okay, what you need, you don't need to use all the digits to multiply because you're concerned about the last three digits. You just need to focus on the last three digits of each of the numbers you're multiplying because only those digits affect the last three digits. So I can say last, or you just write them mod, 1000, but again, it's the same thing, okay? Last three digits of this sum is the same thing as the last three digits of 2025 times this. So it will be 025, 025 times, what are we multiplying? 012. So it's basically 25 times 12, and what is that? It's 300. So the last three digits of this whole thing is 300. 300, zero, zero. that's how we say it. Okay, now if you wanna multiply the whole thing out, well, that's fine. I think the answer should be, well, you do it yourself. And never stop learning, because those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.